you're much grayer than me, and you're younger than by about a year or two. I'm actually, like, genuinely envious of that. I, I want to go gray. I want my silver fox ears. I want my silver fox ears to come early. Because, like, this is... This is the one moment where I'm actually going to allow myself something vaguely resembling vanity. And I'm pretty confident that, like, if I keep my hair long and I get into my silver fox salt and pepper years, I'm gonna be a hot silver fox. Which is funny, because back when I was 29 years old, I had this panic attack about turning 30 and thinking that I would have nothing to offer a woman. That's funny. It is funny. I saw you in Viridian Forest. Cool, Colton. And then you saw me annihilating all of your friends. <laughs> but hey, if that's how you want to play it... I got a bird that's real hungry. You're married and still question it? Ask your wife. <laughs> I'm not messing with this. I don't want anybody getting poisoned and having to run back again. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. How do you like me now? I'll take it. I'm not happy about that. That is not a good level. I love the fact that all of these bugs are just like, yeah, let's just... Let's just make this Pokémon slower. That's clearly the key to victory. What about knocking her out? We... yeah, we're knocking out her speed. That's how you win, right? Definitely. Oh god! Oh god! I still got hit by a gust! How could this have happened? Welcome back, goblin. Hi, I like shorts. They're delightfully comfy and easy to wear. It's a rat. It's the rat. I'm not wasting... I'm not... Nope. I'm not... Nope. Nope. I know what these rats do. <laughs> Whack. Oh man, it survived. Fortunately, it completely wasted its turn. Lowering its defense, that's clearly the key to victory. Hey, level 13. Oh, throw it on the list.
Pretty much, goblin, pretty much. I'm actually putting some sincere thought into raising the, uh, the bet limit for the slots. <laughs> I feel like that would be really exciting. Yeah, that would be cool! I actually can't alter the cooldown. So it would be raising the limit. But you know what else I would be tempted to do? Raising the payouts for everything that isn't a jackpot, and then adding in one symbol that doesn't do anything for any combination. Oh, rude. Maybe, maybe, maybe somebody should give Raj a kitty treat. <laughs> who is, who is, okay. We've, we've got swap training going on. Let's get with it right away. Okay, cool. What's up, Greg? Oh, fuck you. Uh, this one was revealed earlier tonight. Yeah! Yeah, that's been a secret command for five and a half weeks. <laughs> to the point where I actually started getting, like, really obvious about it. Now I have to think up of a new secret command, and then maybe somebody will find it on my birthday. Hell yeah, we're gonna change Pokemon! Oh man, it's level 9! Oh, this also means that I have to change five of Raj's uh, eight ball responses before tomorrow, too. Because don't forget, we're doing the pajama party stream tomorrow night. We're gonna start with some Super Bomberman on uh, Super Bomberman R online, because Hammy definitely wanted to play some of that with me, and early in the stream is when he's actually gonna be available to do it. And you know what? I freaking love Bomberman, so good enough for me. But then other than that, we're just going to do a bunch of multiplayer stuff. There might be some freaking Jackbox. We might do golf with your friends if we get enough people involved. We haven't done golf with, with your friends in a while. I'll have to tell Gale about it, because Gale will probably be... 100% on board. We might do some marbles on stream. We haven't done that in a while. Voice acted Metopia. If we get enough people that I have a full party that's also... that are willing to do it, that's also a succinct possibility. I'm leaving Caboozled in for this because I want to get him tantalizingly close to 10 without actually pushing him over. 
Hey Jason, remember when I said that you needed to let Caboozled evolve at 9 so that you could have Butterfree at 10? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so do I. <laughs> like I said, I want to get Caboozled tantalizingly close to 10. But he will then evolve into a uh, Metapod, not a Butterfree. Right. Tantalizingly close to 10. Like, like, 2 XP away from 10. No, what I'm missing is you cannot have a level 10 Butterfree now because you did not let Caboozled evolve. Why not? Because it only evolves once per level. It won't double evolve at 10. I know. He's going to evolve at the end of this battle. Only if you hit level 10. Wait. Wait. Why are you trying to confuse me? I'm going to take Caboozled out of this fight. Caboozled leveled this fight. Which means when the fight... Okay, Caboozled is already leveled. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> I'm really confused, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, so as, as long as it doesn't hit 10, we're good. We're good, yeah. we're good. Yeah. We're fine. <laughs> Trust me. Trust me. Confusal pie. No, I'm fin fuzzled. Fin, fin, fin finitely uncertain. That didn't work at all. It didn't. <laughs> Like, I felt good thinking it, and then it left my mouth, and all of the good feeling just, like... I appreciate the attempt. I'm not the pun guy. This channel is not called Jason Makes Puns. You don't want Yet. that. You don't want that. I'm, no. <laughs> I am the opposite of clever. I will corrupt you soon enough. Oh, so puns aren't a matter of being clever, it's a matter of selling your soul to the devil. Okay. Uh -huh. I have learned a thing this day. Come on, punky. Come on, buddy. Definitely borderline dark arts. There we go. Nice. Nice! I mean, Gorgeous. not the no defense, but the three attack we'll take. Thanks, Greg! We're actually letting this one happen. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. And then if we look at the stats, it's only 57 XP before we get to something useful. Yay! Alright. So, it's time to switch train. I never looked at you! All of the lasses are so twitchy. Honey, I am a 36 year old man. You are what we call jailbait. I am not looking at you. Get over yourself. Devin, why is, oh, it's a Rattata.
I keep forgetting. The rats are nightmares. Hey, there we go. Easy sauce. Knit around female, put it on the list. Wap wap That's okay. You actually really did not want to grind for that one. It's a 1% encounter. Oh. I don't have anything that's really gonna easily tend to poison type. Finn, is your tracker okay? No, I was... I was accessing an icon that was currently behind my tracker. Ah. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I just had to move it a bit, so it got a little twitchy itself. Do I also call it Tarje? No, I call it a horrible place to work. Wow. Wow. Okay, well, all right, all right. Let me let me give a disclaimer. Where you work in in, in Red Spot is actually much less hateful than than where I worked in in Red Spot. I was overnight. Yeah. And I will tell you now, the 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 Red Spot place that I worked at hated their overnight crew. Anything that they could think of to blame on the overnight, on the quote-unquote flow team, they did. Oh, jeez. Anything. Yeah, the manager makes a huge difference. Yeah. Having a competent manager team is so much different. So, the, the manager of the flow team... Red Spot interviewed me, hired me, and then forgot they did and cut me because they didn't really have a position. Speaking of management, that sounds like fun. So, the manager of the flow team, the flow team team lead, at the one I worked at, his sister was the store manager, and what he liked doing was he liked picking out, like, one or two people and basically turning them into an emotional and verbal punching bag. And that happened oh, to be me. Oh, yikes. To the point where, like, when I, they finally let me start doing, like, flow team stuff for the electronics and, like, the toys st section, I started doing a whole lot better because I actually cared about that stuff. And it came to the point where it was just, like, So, and, and, like, I would be excited, and I would actually, like, start jogging instead of walking. <laughs> and then there was a, uh, there was a big team meeting for the flow team, and he's like, yeah, I'm gonna be starting to get a lot firmer on you guys, because I will put the pressure on. And I rolled my eyes, and he's like, like, Jason, like, no offense, but I am gonna tell you, you're, you're like the bottom 5% of the team. But this kid has started running because he wants to be out of the bottom 5% of the team. I hope you don't mind saying that you're the bottom 5%. And I'm like, would it matter if I did? And he's like, excuse no. me? And I said, would it matter if I said something? You already look for things to criticize me about, so I might as well give you something to get actually angry at. I did get written up for that, and I smiled as I signed the write-up. Wait, why am I ch changing Pokemon? Ooh, level 11 Metapod, let's go! That is quite the punching bag. But, uh, after a bit of that, I ended up, um, 
meeting the electronics team lead. And he he ended up overhearing, like, flow team lead giving me hell for... I don't even remember what. And electronics Existing. team lead was just like, dude, you fixed the CDs. It takes me, like, all day and all night to fix the CDs. How long did it take you? And I'm just like, eh, 45 minutes. And he's just like, cool. And then at one point, the moment that we actually started, like, chit-chatting and bonding was, no, I didn't touch you! <clears throat> the one moment we started chit-chatting and bonding was he heard me Jigglypuff is protected. Jigglypuff is protected. We don't have to. Also, ban you forgot. <laughs> you forgot. On that. That's one of the two where you got it banned right next to where you could catch it. Right. And you did it again. <laughs> well, fortunately, somebody decided to make it so that this was not a problem. Okay, Cl Clefairy is not protected. I know. Uh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh boy. Uh, 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 uh fighting. Fighting moves. Cuz yes. it's a normal type, right? Yes. Okay, so he heard me singing to myself reuse theme from Street Fighter. And he's like, "Oh, you're a fighting game dude?" And I'm like, "Heck yeah." And he's like, "All right. I'm going to test you. I want to see how good your obscure knowledge is." Tell me a fighting game that was renowned for its grappling system. And I looked at him like Battle Arena Toshinden, and he's like, I like you. Alright, time to... time to GTFO. And he was insistent that I get transferred from Flow Team to uh to electronics he absolutely wanted me in electronics to the point where like i and another electronics associate actually got like pulled to another store to train in electronics and then what ended up happening was when we got back i was i was told Oh hey yeah we'll 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 let you like cover shifts in electronics now and again I'm like yeah I I like this and then like flow team manager was just like oh you, you're trying to get away from me and I'm like yes I am sweet to which he started and then he got in on my case and he's like oh. And what's so bad about me? And I'm like, the fact that you're mo you rule with an iron fist and you get away with being verbally abusive because of nepotism. Which made him start sputtering and getting real mad at me, and I'm just like, I don't, I don't care. Look at this progress! Look at this progress! And I was about to start using potions, and I'm like, wait, I don't think I have any more forced fights. Nope. You also have grass. And things I can catch. Yes. So, the the last straw was uh, the fact that they had an opening in electronics. And the electronics team lead was like, I absolutely want Jason on my team. I absolutely want him on my team. 110%. I will write a letter of recommendation if I have to. Please let me do it. And then flow team lead wrote me up. Which prevented me from being transferred. Jeez. Oh boy, we're sharing stories. Alright. I'm gonna start with Bad Goblin's story. Counselor today at my camp told me to watch their kids, and I told them I couldn't because I was already working with another group. 
Five minutes later, I'm reading a company email. She walks back over and tells me to get off my phone and do my job. Company email, this is a job. And one of her kids runs off and gets hurt in the forest. Karma. And then instead of helping the kid, blames you for it, and yeah, that sounds about right. Fenris says, so I work so I work for an electronics retailer there for tech support. GM at the time was not exactly a great dude, having a bad day and it was the end of the night, and just wanted to go home. The GM came by our window and he said and smiled like the jerk that he was. Hey, I'm looking for a smart friend, and I responded, you came to the wrong place. <laughs> he laughed and said, but you're smart, and in the coldest tone I have ever managed, I responded with, I'm not your friend. How did you not get written up for that? You absolute legend. Alright, alright, let's do this. Eh, it's a manky. That's not exciting. I mean, it's exciting EXP. Yeah, whatever. We'll, we'll fry the monkey. Like, 911, I'd like to report a murder. So close! Oh! Hey, oh, there's one! There we go! A Jigglypuff we're allowed to catch. Except I do need to actually weaken it a little bit first. And my lowest level is Punky, so. Don't kill it! Because huh. the thing is, is that the Protect a Pokemon only protects it from trainers. Yeah. If I accident, mm, yeah, no, yeah, do another defense curl. I want to make sure you live. Yeah, that's that's catchable. That's totally uh, catchable. Yeah. Are you about to eat an orange berry? Yep. Okay, so <laughs> I, I definitely need to hit you at least one more time. Maybe two times. Jeez. Maybe again. I don't think I'm gonna kill it if I hit it again. No, not unless you crit. Perfect. That's... That's catchable. One and done. Let's get it! One, two, three... God! Oh. I don't, I don't, I don't have the, I don't have the Pokeballs to, to do this, Jigglypuff. Finally. Yay. Oh my god. Alright. Where is the jig? Yep. There you are. That uh, does remove the protection now. Yep. Alright, so not that I not that I, I want to restrict anybody from, from venting about bad work days, but we need a nickname. What are we nicknaming this male jigglypuff? Helium. 
We've got Helium, we've got Mochi, we've got Coco. I, I, I don't understand why Coco. It's, I think it's cute. It's cute. There's probably something clever that I'm not seeing. Coco Puff. We have two, Mochi's pretty cute. Yeah, let's do Mochi. We have two votes for Mochi. Yeah, we'll, we'll do Mochi. Why was it placed in Graveyard? That's no. not right. That's not right. That's not right. That's not right. That's not right. Go rescue Mochi! Mochi's not dead. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's not right. Is it because I, like, defaulted it? Probably. Place. Summary. Lax nature. That sounds bad. Lax nature is... Raises defense, lowers special defense. That's kind of a wash. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> and it learns pound at nine. Uh, that's a lot of switch training. Yeah. Probably best to do after Mount Moon. Yeah. Pretty box? Oh! <laughs> I am tempted to do that at the name raider. I'm not even gonna lie. Burn! Duracell, it's your time. Unfortunately, can't catch you, so it's time to, 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 to fight you. Murder. That vital spirit is going to do work. Yeah, for sure. So we need to not kill this thing. So the pecs are going to be... Alright. It's a little bit high on health, but... One, two, three, click. Oh, easy. Easy peasy. Alright, what are we naming the Nidoran? Sharp. Sharp? I thought you meant, Fen, that we should name the Nidoran Snorlax, and I was like, yeah, that actually sounds pretty neat, <laughs> until I understood what you meant. <laughs> oh my god, I would I would lose my frickin' mind. Actually, that would be, like, the best cursed <laughs> Nuzlocke ever. I have to name... I have to name every Pokémon after a different, different Pokémon. Oh. 
And like, I have to go down the list, so if it's a fire Pokémon, I have to give it a water name. If it's a grass Pokémon, I have to give it an ice name. Not Dratini. <laughs> well, that's true. That's true. Maybe. It is not a Dratini. <laughs> let's let's not use any Pokemon names in the nicknames for other Pokemon this this run. Aww. Even if we're not, if, even if we're saying that it is not, even if it is a factual statement, <laughs> because it will hurt my head so much. I will I will be so not okay. Midas? Midas is pretty cool. Uh, sure. Given how much of an MVP Fenris was last run, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm done with that. Yeah, we're gonna, we're probably gonna want to do some... Alright, let's go have a look-see. We're gonna have a look, see, see what what what's up. Summary: Hardy nature. That sounds great, actually. It's it's neutral. No. Oh. No boosts. No boosts. Poison point is fine. Those are nice, even stats. Yeah. Lear and Peck, so it's it's flying damage. Boy, 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 decision times. I feel like that's the good play. Yeah. We don't need to bug type in the in the party right now. Nah. And that that I'm sorry, but Nidoran Mail does work in this run. Yeah. It does a lot of work. Um the next order of business is we can absolutely go get a Geodude. And a Zubat and a Clefairy. So I would go get balls first. Yeah, you're right. And a Paris. <laughs> All four of your possible encounters are not banned. They're all in here? Yeah. Yeah, they are. Oh my god. And they're all available on the first floor. Yeah, so I I gotta I gotta go back. Yeah. Wow. Oh, I don't think I fought you yet. Nope. Hey, you're not, you're wearing, not wearing shorts. shorts. What's wrong with you? What? I don't want anybody staring at my legs. When you get older, you'll understand, kid. <laughs> wow, that's a really high level Sparrow. Cool. It is. Midas that's why he's up. only got one. Um... You know what? Use Peck so that you don't kill this thing. No. I ate that entire bag of popcorn. <laughs> oh no. 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 Stop. Good enough. Please stop. Alright. My food is here, so I am going to step off for like five minutes to go nab some fries. Okay. I will be back. Terror. All right, Midas. I see you. All 
actually have money, so this is good. I don't have as much money as I thought I did. That's a healthy chips pickup, good lord. Is my Discord going off? Alright. Where was I? I was here. And now I'm here. And I don't think we did literally anything battle related, but I'm still gonna heal here because it brings me comfort. Let's go, baby! Alright, so that girl right there, I cannot walk in front of her. Bullet seed! You ready? And? The prophecy is true. I said the line. Okay, let's see if we can not kill the Zubat this time.
Oh my god. Alright, let's let's do this right this time. One, two, three, click. We got Zubat this time, and I'll have to update Finn to update the tracker, because I don't actually have access to it myself quite yet. Do you have a name to the captured Zubat? Yes. I have a nickname in mind already, but I want to see if anybody comes up with something I like more. Refrigerator? You know what? Okay. I, I actually, like, for some stupid reason, I like refrigerator without the O on the end. I was gonna... I'll even type it in, because for some reason I was thinking of Darkwing Duck, so... Because it's either gonna be that, or it's gonna be refrigerator without the O. Because I, I, I unironically love it. Because I'm weird. Darkwing is cool, but the thing is, is that Zubat's not coming into the party unless I'm desperate for Pokemon, so silly nickname it is. Refrigerator was transferred to someone's PC. Carlisle Hill. Okay. Alright, now that's one I can kill. I've done that, Sage. I don't want to get into what I've done that with, because... Yeah, let's just not. Let's just not. That is a beefy weedle, and I hate it. Oh, I, I already remember the trainer that has Clefairy. I already remember. I made it a point to keep it fresh in my mind. I, I made it a point. I could accidentally ban Clefairy if I walk in front of one particular girl, so I know not to. 
Is Clefairy catchable, like, anywhere in this cave, or is it, like, one corner of it, like, like Pikachu was? Go Midas. Yeah, I'm in Mount Moon. Is it the entirety of Mount Moon? Or is it just, like, one patch? Mooney very much wants her Clefairy. And Clefairy would actually be really good to fix a problem I had with my previous run, where all of my Pokémon were squishy. Okay, Punky, you need to get to double le double digits, my dude. I could have worked on... No, oh, I'm... 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 I'm a failure. Yep, there is the Clefairy you can pick up from Celadon. But if I don't, if I get Clefairy beforehand, then I don't have to spend the coins on getting Clefairy and can work on getting other things with the coins. I would love to get a Scyther with the coins, but that would require a ridiculous amount of luck. And I don't know if I feel like gambling for three hours on stream. Because that would... Mm, I kind of do feel like it, actually. I'm not even going to lie. But Porygon would require the, 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 the sale of my soul. And the joke's on Pokemon because I have already sold my soul for one corn chip. Okay, so if I can get Clefairy anywhere, it's it, it literally is just a matter of uh, grinding it out, so. Hey, I am back. Welcome back. Uh, you need to add uh, Zubat to the caught list. Zubat. And we are on Geodude now? Yes. Okay. And I need something that's not going to kill Geodude, but also not die to it. Uh, probably Punky and just scratch it a few times. To be frank, you don't have a lot of good options. Oh boy. Ouch. Yeah, this is gonna take a while. Actually, if it does a couple of defense curls, I'm not gonna kill it with a low kick, am I? Uh, I would not trust that. You know what, if you wanna keep doing that, that's fine. Okay, I'm sorry, but five defense curls? No, a low kick would kill it. Yeah, it's already near half health. I would not risk it. Alright, we are definitely at the one HP per slap. <laughs> But you know what? That's fine. We can very leisurely get this thing down to red health. Yeah. Yeah, oh god. <laughs> Do it. 
Do it. Do One, it. two, three, click. Do it. Yes. All right, we throw that on the caught list. We have 11 Pokemon. We almost have two full parties worth. Let's get it. Oh, hold on. We have... No, that's not right. Yeah. We do have a... We do have a butter... We oh. have a Butterfree, but it's not... It's it hasn't not... shown up on the other side. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I did the same thing. <laughs> What are we naming this this lady Geo? Geo Diamond. Di okay. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to if somebody else has another name. Like, I almost want to name it Geo Dudette because it's a female Geo Dude. <laughs> then what happens when it evolves? Yeah, metric dude. Uh... No. Diamante. Odette. Odette? That's a that's a very delicate name for a Geo dude. That's a swan. It's ironic. We are n no bad goblin. I've already gone. Actually, no. Oddish is already claimed. There's been a donation to protect an Oddish, so that comes with Opal's a name. Opal's a claim. pretty name, too. Now I'm all stuck on O names, so yeah, sure. Opal is good. We like Opal. Box one. Very nice. Do, 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 do. Where's the Clefairy? Oh boy! We're gonna murder this thing. So, I think that Clefairy actually has a higher rate. Uh, let me double check this before I start speaking on things that I don't. Because I see. was pretty sure that the only time Clefairy started showing up was like fairly far into Mount Moon on floor one. Okay, so it is on floor one, but it's only a 1% here. But if you can get to the bottom floor, it's a 6%. So you just need to go around that one lap. Okay. Well, before I do that, we are probably just going to end up going back to town or back to the Pokemon Center real quick. Yeah. Just because I feel like there is no harm in being cautious. There really isn't, especially since you've got to pass the friggin' entrance anyway. Yep. Also, Golem is a trade evolution, which is why Golem is not on the ban list, because I just can't get it. Yep. So, uh, hey, who all in the chat is excited for uh, Pajama Party stream tomorrow? Can't be just me. Of course not. Let's go, Midas. So that's the last. Oh, I know. I want a laugh. Yeah. Devin here is just going to be like, I'm about to ruin this man's whole career. <laughs> that 
That was actually good XP for how beyond yeah, trivial that was. Geodudes are generally very chunky. Alright, so 6% on the bottom floor. That's yes. what... What? Well, if we if we call the actual first floor basement first floor, then basement third floor? Yes. Okay, good, good, Basement good, good. second floor, though, has a 100% Paris rate. Good to know. Alright. Over you! Yes, good. You know what's gonna be really funny? If you encounter one up here? Yeah. Yeah. Just absolutely hilarious. I keep thinking that's gonna be more effective than it is. <laughs> Midas is good as a Nidoran, but he doesn't really shine until Nidorino. Yeah. That's okay. That's okay. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. I'm I'm confident. Oh yeah. Oh, God. Goblin. No. Also, it's nice knowing that we don't have to rely on a Pikachu to handle Misty. It's true. Devin's gonna annihilate Misty. Well, you, you're gonna have Devin. You're also gonna have an Oddish. You're also gonna have... What was the other thing? Oh, Paris, yeah. Yeah, we're, like, it's gonna be a very easy... Although I think you taught something bullet seed, didn't you? I did. Then a Paris will not be helpful against Misty. That's okay. <laughs> The Paris will have other uses. The Paris does still do work. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, let's go. Midas, level 10. Those are... I, Midas has been getting really high HP rolls, and I'm super into it. Yeah. Let's go! Speaking of... <coughs> Peck's Goodness. gonna kill this thing, isn't it? Yes. Peck is four times super effective. I have to swap Pokemon. Um... Okay, Punky. Just... Just scratch her a little bit. Yeah, that. Do that. And yeah, I get to do it once. Wow, okay. Beautiful. Alright. One and done, baby. Nope. I actually have to get this monkey out of the fight. Yep. That poison is unforgiving. That poison does not care. Nope. Wow, okay, sure. Alright. Let's try this again. First try! Ugg. First try! And the Uggs have it! Alright. Wicked. What are we naming her? Italy. Something mushroom related? I don't know. Saffron's saffron's decent. Saffron's cool. I almost thought of Michelin because of Michelin star. 
Michelin's pretty neat, but she's a girl. I feel like that's more masculine. We could make Michelin feminine. I mean, it would be Michelle, which... I, if you want! <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> nah, we, we can't... We can't do... We, we can't we can't do Francie because it's too similar to the first name and we're not we're not doing that yeah, I'm gonna go I ahead. like saffron yeah saffron was transferred to someone's PC yay that's a way of putting it oh. so pokeballs. Spritz, spritz. Very nice. Alright. Since it's gonna be a bit of a jog to get back, spritz myself in the face. Pokemon laughs at my stupidity because laughter is truly the best medicine. All right, bottom floor. Now I grind for a Clefairy. Right yes. after I fight this Team Rocket grunt, which is going to ban a bunch of crap. I'm not sure he bans anything. Aside from the Sandshrew. Oh, well, Sandshrew was already banned. Oh, Sandshrew is just not on the list at all. Yeah! Oh, okay, cool. Because you can't catch it, therefore, there's no reason for it to be there. Yeah, that's cute. That's cute. <laughs> Whack. We're, we're slowly creeping towards the moment where Rattata's become fear machines. Mm-hmm. I have been DM'd some stuff. Oh, we'll, dear. And we'll and I'll probably be checking it soon, because we're, like, real close to the final break of the night before uh, the final phase of the stream tonight. Oh, Zubat. Who, who cares? Who cares? Not this boy. Uh, Murder. Almost one shot. Not wow, quite. it's nice to have a Pikachu that doesn't go critical in a single hit. Oh my god. Got another point of defense? I didn't think that was possible for Pikachus. Oh god. Oof. I blew it! Alright, so... This is the floor where I can definitely catch a... Well, not definitely, but more likely catch a Clefairy, yes? Yeah, this is the 6% floor. Time to run in circles. So it's... It's better than Pikachu.
Let's go, Midas. Another nice even level up for him. Yeah, night like the consistency is very nice. Great. Let's just let's just damn it. I was gonna be like, let's just get it now and just be done with it. Most. Or we can just let Punky kick rocks and... I mean, this will be a great way to level up Punky. Yeah. Because if it's nothing but Geodudes down here, watch as, as a swarm of Zubats kill Alessis upon my location. Zubat is actually more common than Geodude on this floor, theoretically. Theoretically. Could have fooled me. <laughs> Theoretically. <laughs> nice. That's a nice level. Super nice. Super and nice. And now you can uh, punch rocks. Yeah. <laughs> or a bat. I'll punch a bat in the face. I don't care. I kind of care so not a little. So those type efficiencies. <laughs> Oh, we got a riveting fight on our hands now. Oh, that's better. Enjoy your 1 HP, Zubat. I hope you love it. Oh, yeah. Nice crit. Just give me my Clefairy, please. Wow. Wow. Okay then, that's uh, spicy. That's a bit spicy. That's unexpected. I'm a little bummed, I wish this was the Paris we saw first. like using potions right now, but I also don't want to run all the way back to... I don't want to run all the way back to town. Yeah. And with the trainers that I fought and the trainer that I will fight when I leave, I can, I can buy a few potions. I think I'll be okay. I could just escape rope out. Yeah, but you're keeping that for emergencies. Yeah. I'm not sure this is an emergency. It's not. <laughs> hey -oh. Very nice. Come on, it's, it's, it's
Alright, this one for sure. Nope. <laughs> That's a bat. That's a bat. Ow. That's a spicy bat. Mother, father, gentlemen. The bats have finally realized, oh, we were supposed to show up today. Oh, <laughs> uh, I would try to do the play on beat thing, but the there's like the tiniest bit of input lag and it would drive me nuts yeah fair if it were more responsive a play on beat challenge would I, I would do that so hard oh yeah very nice Getting some work done with Kapoozled Fly. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> we may have a bit of a situation on our hands. Jeez. How do you like it, huh? Rude. Double rude. I hate it here. I actually have to make my way back out. Yeah, it's about that time. gonna laugh if that was the uh, if that was the Clefairy I too was going to laugh if that was the Clefairy, but it, alas, it was not. I'm making an executive decision. 
Yeah. Because if I don't, there is a good chance that we're just gonna... We're just gonna suffer a loss on the way out. Yeah. So... For sure. Please do heal my Pokémon. We're gonna look at the summaries of the Pokémon we caught while we're in there. We're gonna take the last break of the night. And then we'll come back and do, like, just a little, a little bit more before calling it for the night. More attempts at Clefairy? Probably. Alright, someone's PC, and we'll go to move Pokemon just to take a look-see. So, we caught... Zubat. <laughs> we caught Refrigerator, who is lonely. Lonely is up attack, down defense. Mm -mm. <sighs> I like it. It's a little scary. That's, that's pretty scary. We caught Opal. Quirky. Quirky is neutral, that's fine. Negates one hit KO attacks is beautiful. Tackle, defense, curl, and mud sport, as to be expected. And rock tomb, because I could teach it rock tomb. And then we've got Saffron, who has tiny mushroom. Naughty nature. Naughty nature is up attack minus special defense. So also not wonderful, but... Oh, don't waste your Rock Tomb. Uh, Opal will learn Rock Throw at 11, so she's basically there. Okay. Cool. And the rope helps to ascend. Did I heal? Yes. Beautiful. We are making so much progress this stream. You twirl it around you like you're a rhythmic gymnast, and that empowers you to plow through the ceiling. <laughs> I okay. tried. 